As of June 23rd of 2024, there are currently 47 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet, a total which is one less than last week. One of these erupting volcanoes is Italy's spectacular Mount Etna volcano, which is currently producing weak and intermittent Strombolian explosions from its Voragine crater. Mount Etna is a 600,000 year old volcano which has been erupting at a high rate for some time. Mount Etna is most famous for its sporadic paroxysms that occur between its weaker eruptions, with the term meaning a short yet violent burst of activity. These paroxysms can create dense ash emissions, kilometer high lava fountains, pyroclastic flows, or even flank lava flows. Those of you who have followed my channel for a long time know that part of my success is owed to my coverage of important geologic topics and volcanoes that are often not widely discussed by major news outlets. This lack of coverage can be due to selection bias or even hidden political biases. Since social media platforms feed you stories it thinks you already agree with, they only accentuate this problem. Well, the sole sponsor of today's video, Ground News, wants to change all of that. Ground News gathers all related articles from around the world in one place to give you context about the news you read. They give you a breakdown of the political leanings, factual reliability, and ownership of each of the sources. Ground News can even help you find important news that you're likely to miss due to skewed coverage from different sides of the political spectrum. For example, did you know that the famed jade mines directly southeast of the Toya volcanic field in Canada will within five years have to cease all production? Not a single right-leaning source is covering this story despite it being an important piece of economic news. With Ground News, you would be able to learn about this blind spot in the media and others like it so you can have a better understanding of the world around you. Go to ground.news slash geologyhub to give it a try with plans starting as low as 83 cents a month. If you sign up through my link, you'll get 40% off the Vantage plan, which is how I get unlimited access to all features. I think Ground News is doing important work and I hope you'll check them out. And now, here are this week's top volcano-related news stories. In Tonga, one of the planet's newest volcanic islands which was only born a mere 21 months ago erupted once again, creating 5 acres of brand new land. Heading west to a different section of the Pacific Ocean, a swarm of earthquakes struck the Banda Api Island volcano for the second time in only a month. Meanwhile, in the northern hemisphere, a brand new volcanic eruption began at Russia's scenic Kerimsky volcano, its first such eruption since August of 2022. And, in what is this week's top story, the eruption of Iceland's Reykjanes volcano finally ended, but not before breaching and overflowing a major section of the protective lava walls. Lava had been weakly flowing to the north and then hugging the topography and lava walls for the past week until a large section of the lava flow, when combined with prior older lava flows, overtopped the 8 meter high lava wall protecting the Svartsingi geothermal power plant. On June 20th, lava spilled over and traveled as much as 275 meters, even breaking the underlying wall in one section. During the next 48 hours, 13 acres was covered in lava, but this advancing flow was not able to travel any further due to the quick work of construction crews who built secondary lava walls. Also, for the first time since 1973 in Iceland, water which happened to be sourced from the Blue Lagoon was sprayed onto the advancing lava flows in an effort to slow or stop its forward progress. While this did require a sizable amount of water, it was actually effective. Luckily, before lava had a chance to potentially resume its forward motion, the eruption of the Reckoness volcano completely ceased on the morning of June 22nd. In total, this eruption of the Reckoness volcano, which had a volcanic explosivity index of a 1 instead of a 0, covered 9.88 square kilometers, involved 42 million cubic meters of molten rock, and lasted for 25 days. Meanwhile, in Tonga, a third volcano in the country began erupting anew on June 11th, the Home Reef volcano 24 kilometers south-southwest of the island of Leyte. 
while traditionally thought of as a submarine volcano which lied 10 meters or 33 feet below sea level, home reef almost every time it has erupted in historic times has formed a temporary island out of ash which later washed away below sea level. This occurred in 1852, 1984, and 2006. Well, in 2022, when Home Reef erupted, it effused highly viscous and 30-foot-tall flows of dacite lava, which since it was far more resistant to erosion than ash, remained in the time since. Home Reef erupted again in 2023 and now a third time in 2024, with the latest instance expanding the island by 20,607 square meters, or 5.09 acres. Lava is now actively flowing towards the west and is likely to further expand the new island in that sector, likely also hugging the 2023 island coastline in the next week. In Russia, on the southeastern third of the Kamchatka Peninsula, the Kurumsky volcano produced a new eruption. This eruption began at 6.50 p.m. local time on June 20th, when an explosive volcanian eruption sent a plume of ash upwards to an altitude of 6,000 meters or approximately 19,700 feet. As small amounts of ash fell near its central volcanic cone, which was completely constructed inside a caldera within the last 5,000 years, additional, albeit smaller, explosions occurred repeatedly, creating the potential to disrupt low-flying air traffic. The reason I believe the first explosion was larger is that it involved pressure that had slowly built up underneath the thick plug developed by its prior 2022 eruption, which is now partially burst. I expect Kurimsky to produce more moderate intensity for geomagmatic or volcanian activity in the next several weeks, although it is unlikely to heavily affect nearby communities. And in Indonesia, a moderate intensity earthquake storm struck the Banda Api volcano, a volcanic island that lies within two large calderas which last erupted in 1988. While typically only 1-3 to three daily earthquakes occur from this stratovolcano, on June 20th earthquakes spiked to 30 in a day. This follows another unusual episode between May 24th and June 1st when daily earthquakes jumped to 7 a day. While both of these episodes were fairly minor and no other changes occurred, if more similar earthquake swarms occur, a further look may be needed into the current activity of this volcano. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on June 22nd of 2024.